Hey, it's Bookends with Julia Cook and Kirby coming to you from Salt Lake City, Utah. That's where my mom lives and that's where I grew up. So today we're going to talk about boogers, becoming a booger expert. Now, in our times right now, that is very, very important. And you know, when I wrote this book, it was because I, I figured everybody has boogers and some people, they just don't know what to do with them. And you see big people and little people picking their nose and it's just gross. Sometimes teachers are up there teaching us and right in the middle we start picking our nose and teachers just kind of lose it. They don't even know whether to stop their lesson or to keep going. So, in lieu of everything else, here we go, baby. This is called, I am a booger, treat me with respect. And it's dedicated to all who pick. I am a booger. Some people call me a boogie. I grow inside your nose. I come in many colors. Most people expect me to be green. But if I can be clear, yellow, and even red. Sometimes I'm hard and crumbly. Other times I'm long, soft, and even stringy. Most people think that I am gross. Some people have even called me a snot. But I don't feel bad about that, because I do great things for you. I keep you from getting sick. I am a true defender. When you breathe in through your nose, the air that you breathe isn't always clean. Sometimes it has dirt and germs in it. Whenever I see a piece of dirt or a germ inside your nose, I swallow it. If you have more dirt and germs in your nose than I can eat, I just call in my booger friends and we have a feast. When we are full, we want out of your nose because it gets too crowded for us and you can't breathe. Since boogers swallow germs, and touching germs can make you sick, you should never, ever touch your boogers with your fingers. The best way for me to leave your nose is to, for you to blow me into a tissue, throw the tissue away, and then wash your hands with soap and water. Sometimes, boogers like me get stuck in your nose and they won't come out even if you blow really hard. It's okay to use your finger to pick your nose when this happens, but only if you make a booger ghost with your finger and your tissue like this. That way, your finger won't get as many germs on it. If you need to use a booger ghost, it's best to do so in a private place, like in the bathroom, because other people don't like to watch you when you pick your nose. Make sure you throw your booger ghost away, then wash your hands with soap and water. When you're all done, please make sure that you haven't left me hanging. Sometimes boogers, like me, get picked and flicked. Picking and flicking me is very disrespectful. I've worked hard and done my personal best to help keep you healthy. If you pick me and flick me, who knows where I will, will land? I'm full of dirt and germs. Somebody ends up touching me by accident. I might even make them sick. Then all my hard work will have been for nothing. Always remember to treat all your boogers with respect. Blow them into a tissue, throw a tissue away, then wash your hands with soap and water. The absolute worst thing that can happen to a booger like me is when you pick me out of your nose with your finger and then eat me. Never, ever, ever eat your boogers. Boogers are full of dirt and germs. Boogers work hard to keep dirt and germs out of your body so you can stay healthy. When you eat boogers, you eat the dirt. 
You eat the germs. Eating your boogers will make you feel sick. When other people see you at your boogers, it makes them feel sick. Eating your boogers is never a good idea. I am a booger. I do great things for you. I work hard to keep you healthy. I am a true defender. Treat me with respect. Don't pick me without using a booger ghost. Don't flick me across the room. Blow me into a tissue, throw the tissue away, then wash your hands with soap and water. Try not to ever leave me hanging. Most important of all, never, ever, ever, ever eat me. Because eating your boogers makes everyone feel sick. Ew, gross. Now, this book's kind of special to me. Because my son Carson, he drew all the pictures. And this was a long time ago. And he actually drew this whole book in a weekend. And he's, a, he, he's kind of a kid at heart, and he was a kid when he did it, so it looks like a kid drew it. So it makes me really proud to say that my son was the illustrator. Now we have a few tips and ideas about becoming a booger expert. So the first thing that you can do around your house is find your boxes of Kleenex and take a magic marker and draw a booger ghost on the box. You know, you can do it with every box of Kleenex on your house. And then when people see it, they'll remember, oh my gosh, I need to use a booger ghost. So that's one thing you can do. And then the other thing you can do is you can make hand washing professional signs where you trace your hand and on a piece of paper and then you remember all the important steps for hand washing Number one, wet your hands with clean water. Number two, add soap. Number three is my favorite one. That means bubble up, baby, for 20 seconds. Someone told me 20 seconds is humming happy birthday song twice. Number four, rinse all the bubbles off. And then number five, Dry your hands with a clean towel. So you can decorate your hand with all five rules and write hand washing rules in the middle. And then you can post those around your house so people will remember, bubble up baby, for 20 seconds at least. Also, there's some other ideas on anxiety and on becoming a booger expert at Julia Cook's TPT store, Julia Cook Encore. And for all my books, if you would like to buy them, you can get them on Amazon or I can hand sign them and personalize to them to your kids at juliacookonline.com. And, oh, let's say the curbs. Here she comes. She's just having her morning snooze. We love you guys. We miss you guys. I can't wait till I get back in the schools and hang out with you again. And for all you parents, hang in there. We're all in this. We're going to do just fine. We're going to make this, make it happen. It's such a great time to be able to hang out with your kids. And, man, those teachers and counselors, they're just working their tails off for you. We love you guys so much. And we will see you on Friday for Personal Space Camp at 9 a.m. Tune in to Facebook Live.